Yo, what's good, Grind Gang? Hey, what's good, YouTube? How y'all living, man? Hey, we live, and in effect, this Sunday, this Super Bowl Sunday. What's up? Anybody gonna watch Super Bowl today? I might. I might. I'm having an amazing Sunday. Yo, good morning. Fucking good morning. Hi, 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 hi. We vibing this morning, man. I'm making some French toast. Went and hit the gym this morning. Now I'm gonna finish up with a healthy dose of French toast. Handmade. No, not, not us. Oh, not, oh, shit. No Super Bowl for everybody. I understand that. It's not all that interesting. I mean, I used to be a fucking, like, sports fanatic, man. I used to be, like, obsessed with sports, but, um, over time, I've been kind of just so, like, dedicated to my own grind these days that, um, man, I was trying to get that light out of this, and I made it worse. I'm going to turn that light off real quick, see what happens. Oh, no, pitch black. Okay, well, I hope that light isn't too much of a distraction, guys. I'm going to probably take that bulb out or something. That way I'll have light, but not that one behind me. Because sometimes I got to go live while I'm making the French toast, baby. This is, this is a morning routine. We're on the daily grind right now. This is it. This is it. The daily grind, baby. Welcome. I love you all so very, very much. And um, I hope you guys looked at the clip that I posted in my uh, stories, man. Because that's kind of what today is about. About why I do the live show. <laughs> why I do this thing called the daily grind. And why, I think, just put my phone in front of me. See if it gets the glow. Boy, I hear shining. Shining this morning. Hey, so no, I really, um, that idea that I would put up in my stories, man, I highly encourage you to go listen to it again. And if you can't, um, catch it in the YouTube. In the YouTube version on here, I will definitely link back to that video because it was like this super neuroscientist dude who was on impact theory, right? Talking with Tom Ballou. And um, this dude was like talking about how like scientifically our mind works and makes decisions and how we decide who we're gonna be and like our identity and just all kinds of stuff about like free will and like whether or not we actually get to make decisions for ourselves or whether or not our like decisions are all predetermined for us and stuff. Even if you don't think they're predetermined by like a god or something like that, think about this, like everything you do is chemicals in the brain. Uh, I ask you, you sit in a restaurant and I ask you, do you want the fish or the steak? There's this moment, like you have two options and now you're about to make a choice. What do you want? Steak. Steak. For sure. You had a second now where you had kind of to look at all the options. I gave right. you only two and make a decision. So now, at some point, if I asked you, when did you make the choice? You would say, well, maybe as soon as I finished the sentence, maybe I would, maybe you would say a, a fraction of a second afterwards. The question is, A, how far before did we know the answer to that? Also, did the, there, was there anything I could have said differently that would have made you say the fish? Mm. And most importantly, what's the gap between the moment you would tell me that's the moment I chose and the moment that you actually chose? And apparently there is a gap. Mm. And this gap is what we call the illusion of free will. The moment where you say, that's the moment. T, this is T0. This is when it happened. And I can look at your brain and say, you know what? Actually, here, we already knew that you're going to choose. Or even, like, even if you want to take it one first time, we can actually stimulate your brain and make you choose this thing. And I will tell you and say, wow. who made the choice? And you say, I definitely make the choice myself. This was my decision. And I say, well, you know what? Here's me zapping your brain before making you say fish. Here's <laughs> what, me. Right? Everything, everything is just like a release of chemicals, different chemicals going on in your brain at different times. So, um, I mean, you know, even that in itself is like something you don't have any control over, yet that controls some of the decisions you make and stuff. So it's fascinating. But then he started to say, okay, well, if you have a, what they were getting down to was the essence of what my book is going to be about because any successful person who studied success for a long enough time realizes it comes down to kind of one simple principle. And that principle encompasses a lot of other things, but it's the story you tell yourself in your head, right? Every day, every decision you make, every state that you feel in, like, you know, like anxiety or confidence or stress or worry, whatever, all that is produced, those chemicals are released in your mind by what kind of story or narrative you have going on in your head about your life at that particular moment in time, right? Um, and so, he spoke in there and he said something that was so 
profoundly resonating to what I do. And it was that the easiest, simplest way to change your mindset is to find somebody who lives the life that you want to live or displays the, the, the characteristics or personality traits that you wish you wanted to have. And they all started like with this. He was like, so I gotta ask you this question because Tom Ballou and Impact Theory are all about, like me, like motivation and inspiration and like, you know, showing you different people who are like accomplishing their dreams and how they're getting to that. And he said, one of the questions I always get is how do I be more motivated? Or how do I, like they ask for, like people come and ask for all kinds of different quality traits. Like how do I be more funny? You know, how do I be a funnier person? Or how do I become, and he said the easiest simple way to become more of a certain personality trait or more of a certain characteristic was to surround yourself by people who are already that. You know, if you want to be more funny, he says, go find somebody who's already funny to you. Find, there's a lot of people out there. There was a person that is like you that had similar experience and chose the thing that you want to choose. Find this person or these people and it's going to rub into you. So I, I get asked by my students often, how do I become funnier? How do I become a smarter? And, and like my one tip that I give them all the time is surround yourself by people that you want to be like. You want to be funny? Just sit next to comedians. Just go to the same room they are and just sit next to them. It's going to rub onto you by osmosis because it's just, it's the environment that is around us that really changes everything. And, and other people said that before, but I'll tell you the neuroscience behind that. We know now that uh, brains interact with each other through language in a way that synchronizes the brains. So when I talk to you right now, if you're engaged with what I say, it means that if we scan our brain right now, our brains are gonna look alike, more than yours and someone on the street that isn't mm. here. So two people in the same room, as soon as they kind of interact, their brains literally start kind of, if you want, pulsing in the same way. Parts of the brain light up in the same way, parts shut down. So we actually are affecting, this is how we affect each other. This is how communication made humans who they are. This is the one thing that makes us better than all the other animals because we are able to communicate using language, affect each other's brain and create narratives that don't exist together. We both believe in things that we've never seen before, like God or, or, or ideas that like democracy or, or money. Like those things we invented and we can communicate them and create this image in people's brains and they all share this thing. You know, go hang out in comedy clubs all the time. And this is something I stress too a lot. I tell people all the time, I don't fight with results. I don't fight with what I get out in the world. I fight with myself, right? I know that whatever I put in, that's what I'm gonna get out, flat out. So this part in the morning right here, this getting up early, the working out, the meditating, the getting on here and, you know, getting your guys vibed up as I'm vibed up, you know, all that that I do in the morning, that's, that's far more important than anything I like accomplish today or like go out and I write a little blog post or something or I make a video or a movie. Like that's gonna do so much. You're right, you gotta come out here and take action. But ultimately the results I get from those types of things, how well that movie comes out, the, the strength and the quality of the ideas I get, um, whether or not I have the, the physical energy to go out there and work 13, 14 hours straight, right? That shit is not easy. And so how do you, how does somebody like, get into a mindset where they can do that, where they can come out and just operate for 13, 14 hours straight, not talk about I need a nap, or I'm tired, or oh man, we gotta do more, right? How do you get in that, that state? And so he asked people, you know, where does that come from? How do you get that motivation? How do you get that, that, that fire, or whatever it is that you're looking for, that quality? Hang out with other motherfuckers like you, that you wanna be. And then he said, well, okay, but what if I'm all the way in Alaska, and everybody that I wanna be like, is nowhere near me. Well, you could take the route, the planner route, which is to get your ass up and go to wherever it is those people are that you aspire to be like. So that's what I did. I got my happy ass up. I started looking around Austin. I didn't see anybody I aspired to be like or wanted to be fucking with or on that level. And I was like, I gotta get to fucking Los Angeles, man. Like I'm just too famous. I'm just too, like, you know what I mean? I, I wanna do too many things that nobody here in, in this, this city is supporting. So. I gotta go get it. And then so uh, that's what I did. But maybe you haven't got there yet. Maybe you don't have the resources, maybe you don't have the courage, whatever you don't have. And you feel like you can't make that move. Well, for you, the very next best thing that you could possibly have in your life is the daily grind, baby. Is to come on a, on, on a video or to consume content of those types of people that you wanna be like. When I was in Afghanistan, right, Afghanistan, 
like all the way across the fucking ocean, like by myself in the middle of the, well, not by myself, I had, you know, co-workers and shit like that, but I mean, you ain't got no family, you ain't got no friends, you ain't got no hope of fun, you ain't got no like lifestyle, right? And sorry, I keep coming at and out of focus, you know how my camera do and that light behind me is a little bit tricky right now, but also for anybody who's joining, I'm making French toast right now, so we're, we're live and we're daily grinding it right now, baby, it's just so daily grind right now, it's just not even funny. So, nonetheless, this is just so fucking inspirational to me. And so he's like, yeah, all you gotta do is you can go find and consume the content. When I was in Afghanistan, and I was like a schmuck, like dude, I could not get up to, for work on time, I was completely sick, I was completely broke, you know, and I just did not have like a, a mindset that I have now, like, you know what I mean? I was dragging myself out of bed every single day, showing up to work late, you know, just not being able, like, just completely unfocused, unmotivated, undetermined, none of that. That was not, I was not born with any of that. Um, but in Afghanistan, something happened. I started to get into listening to other motivational speakers and stuff. And I started getting into things like impact theory and, um, you know, listening to Tony Robbins and Les Brown and, and, and uh, Eric Thomas, just all these people who were like, you can get it. Like, this is my success story. This is how I made it. Anybody can make it. This is what, like, you know, and then just listening to people talk about success and about business and about, you know, life and about, like, the proper mindset and success and how to, how to meditate and how to be happy, essentially, right? I started watching that. And then even after I got it, I understood it very well. I was like, oh, I get this. All I got to do is come out here and think it, and that's how it'll be. I still consume the content. I still watch it because now that I'm so positive and so in that mindset, I don't know what else I would do. Like what, I don't vibe, I don't vibrate with any other types of content. So we talked about who's watching the Super Bowl today. Um, I'm gonna watch it because it's work related. Like I'm gonna go shoot some stuff and stuff that's probably gonna be related to Super Bowl. If it wasn't for that, probably would not have much interest, right? And that's just because that type of content just doesn't vibe with me much, th that much anymore. Like I don't wanna watch other people be champions. I wanna be a fucking champion. So I watch other people who are like showing me and, and teaching me and, and, and passing along words of wisdom that can help me get there, right? I can't spend my time sitting around watching football all the time, all day, every week, playing fantasy football, you know, spending 20, 30 hours a week playing fantasy football like I used to, because I want to feed my mind, you know? I want to continue to grow, I want to continue to develop, I want to maintain, like we talked about. And so um, I got to feed my, myself the right things, right? And so, I still highly encourage you to, to, I mean, I definitely encourage you to watch a lot, because like I said, it's your next best thing, you know? If you can't come on, like, this is why. This is why, you'd be like, sometimes you'd be like, man, why I be sitting around, like, this is not that entertaining. Why do I sit around and, and listen to Rod Ramble on and stuff? It is, it is rubbing off on you, you know? Like, this day, this 30 minutes a day that you hang out with me, somebody who I think is highly successful. I mean, whether or not you deem me physically successful, I'm extremely happy. Extremely well maintained in my physical, you know, like I'm getting results out here, baby. You know what I mean? I'm getting results out here. So if you want those types of results, hang out with me. Listen to the shit that I talk about. Do the shit that I be doing. You know what I mean? Like, that. Why do you think I came all the way out to LA? Why did I go find Mod Sun? You know? Ask yourself that. Like, you know, I'm a talented individual, man. I'm a cool guy. I can probably go do videos for anybody in the world. You know, I could go out and seek any any kind of friendships, any kind of relationships, and then I went and I sought my son. Why? Right? Because there was a dude who I, I resonated with. I was like, man, I'm trying to make people positive. I'm trying to make people happy. I want to, you know, what I'm trying to do aligns with what you're trying to do, and I can't find other people who align it. Like, you're the first motherfucker I see. You know, so I'm going to go. I'm going to go, and I'm going to figure out how, to, how to, do we actually align, and how can I make that work? And um, it doesn't have to be my son, guys. You know what I mean? Like, that, that, it doesn't have to be him. It doesn't have to be Machine Gun Kelly. It doesn't have to, you don't have to be like, well, I can't get to my favorite celebrity, so, you know, I'm fucked. Like, dude, there are people around you who are cool as fuck. But well, a lot of times we don't spend time around those people who are cool as fuck because we're too busy fucking around with people who suck. You know what I mean? Like, this is a flat out, that's, that's, ooh, that's hot. I can't wait to put that back in the lie. Hey, Mike, earmark that. We're gonna use that as a quote. Then you'll find that in the Instagram right there. Cause that's hot. For real though. People too busy fucking around with people who suck, man. Like, even if they're great, but they ain't trying to do nothing, like they're they're great, they're funny, man, they're hilarious, but you got a mission and you got a goal in life, or you got a dream, or you got an ambition or something, and they're not fucking doing nothing, like dude, realize you're not doing nothing because they're not doing nothing. I bring people around me all the time and they are just mind boggled 
by how much they're getting done and how much they're working and how productive they feel all of a sudden. And I'm like, yeah, that's right. Because you don't see no TV around here, do you? We ain't, we ain't doing nothing else. You come to my house, you're writing a script, baby. You know, you come to my house, we're going to be talking about how do we boost your social media presence or how do we, you know, whatever, market something or how do you make a book for yourself or how do you, you know, become a better actor or whatever it is that you're trying to do, but we don't talk about that, you know? We're not going to sit around and just chill. And so that's a driving force. You know, every day I walk up in Mod Son's house and everything, you think I ever find anybody just like lacking? Slacking? Talking about, man, today is just not that good of a day, man. I'm just, but my fucking boss. You, you think we ever talk about that stuff around the house? You ever think it's like, man, my boss really fucking sucks and, and Netflix this and that? No, fuck no. We, we sit around and we listen to Mod make music for like 15 hours a day. We all sit around and we work on fucking designs for merch, videos, music, marketing plans. Like you fucking name it, right? We're running, they're running the business. I'm running the business. Everybody's running the business. And so... When you get around other people who are doing that, making those moves, you naturally feel inclined to do that, right? And that's why I titled this, you are the five people you spend the most time with. Like, people gotta understand that. People tell me all the time, like, they're like, well, what do I do if I have a negative vibe around me? I'm like, get it the fuck away from you, that's what you do. And they're like, but I, but I love that person. I'm, fine, then just understand that you better be helping them up because if you're not helping them up, they're tearing you down, baby. And that's just flat out facts. But there's no way that you can be around each other and your vibes won't mix. There's just, there's no, there's no possible way people are like, well, how do I be positive around negative people? You better be really fucking positive. That's how you do it. You better be really positive enough for the both of them because if you were not, if you're barely positive enough for yourself, guess what's going to happen? Those negative people are going to suck you right in. They're going to suck you right in. You'll never even see it coming. You never even see it coming. You're just chilling, hanging out. Next thing you know, you're complaining. Next thing you know, you're fucking crying. Next thing you know, you're talking about, you know why we can't get it, man? Because social media fucking sucks. And then that, and I'm like, well, where'd you get that idea? Well, that's what me and Billy were just talking about yesterday about how fucking social media sucks. That's why he can't get it. I'm like, bro, get the fuck out of here with that shit. Like, I don't care if y'all want to talk about that or be on that way. Just go do it somewhere else, man. That's all I'm saying. And that's why I say, yo, grind gang, come fuck with me. Like, people who... Have a similar mindset. You have to go seek those people out. Oh, oh, I'm about to turn it on. Oh, hold on. I'm about to, about to fucking create the, the alarm. I'm gonna go off any second now. Hold on. I knew this moment would come. One second. You know, a bachelor can only cook so well, okay? You know what I mean? I do as, as well as I can for being a single male, man with no fucking homemaking skills whatsoever. So, anyways, um, so that's why it's important, guys. That's why it's important, check in, you know what I mean? Check in, make this thing important to you, like not for me, but for you. I mean, of course, I want the numbers. Of course, I want the comments, you know? It, it sucks coming out here talking to myself, like duh, you know? But also for you, you know, also for you, like uh, for the both of us, so that we can exchange our positive energy. You need some milk? I, hey, if anybody know what I need, it's you, bro. I, I trust you. I know you know exactly what I need in this motherfucker. We doing shit out here in 2019 and every year after that? Absolutely, man. Absolutely. But be that, man. You know, like I said, if you can't, if you can't uh, find other people who inspire you, then I encourage you to uh, be the one that inspires everybody else around you. But ultimately, too, you never want to be the smartest person in the room. You know? Flat out. You never want to be the motherfucker who's got all the answers and every Like, I, I hated it. I hated it. To this day, I still do. To this day, my only struggle in life is finding people who I think are smarter than me or, like, you know, more in tune with me so that I can get around them. Like, I want to feel dumb. Like, make me feel dumb, please. Because, like, that helps me. That helps me grow. Right? You know, just same as you. So, um... You know, whether you are already successful, whether you're on my level, on a whole nother level that I could never possibly begin to reach or whatever the case may be, like, um, you know, making personal development or positive conversation or, you know, hanging up with people who are on a grind gang type of mentality is the most beneficial thing you can do for your mindset. You ain't got to take my word for it. Science, bitch. Yes, science. It's like science, bitch. Mm. You know how good it feels to be out here and just kind of like intuitively know something is correct, but you don't have the like, like I don't have the drive, guys. Like, listen, like that's just not my skill. I'm great at presenting information, 
People say it all the time, like my skill lies in the ability to take complex ideas and break them down to very simple, simple, easily transferable ideas. But I in no way, shape or form the guy who's gonna go back there and like collect all the data, do the research and, and all that, right? I'm not gonna do that. I'm just not. I'll make it cool though. A lot of those guys can't speak for shit. A lot of those guys can, can design the ideas, but then they come out here and try to tell the world, they'll be like, um, statistics show that you're 85% more likely to well how if you from from Pam and like everybody's like, I don't know what any of that shit means, bro. Sorry. Thanks though. Appreciate you. <laughs> right? You know what I mean? Like, like the only time you're ever gonna study any of that shit is if somebody puts a textbook in front of you and makes you write a report. If they say, hey, I'm gonna give you a grade on this, then all of a sudden people wanna study. But you know, without that, most people aren't out here doing it. Or most people are not out here studying, not out here progressing, not out here learning. So do spend as much time with the people who you can, who are, and especially if they're dropping knowledge. I mean, even if they're not dropping knowledge, even if they're just coming out like flexing, whatever, or doing whatever it is they do, watch them still too. Because if you aspire to them, then you know, see how they move. Because not everybody's out here like dropping the breadcrumbs. You know what I mean? Like not everybody's out here telling you how to get it the same way they got it. But um, either way, it's, it's important. It's important. Inundate yourself with those people. You know. Be careful though, the one thing I want to leave you with guys is I'm about to sit down and eat this magnificent fresh toast that I made for myself. BANG! Production baby! Multitasking baby, bat out! Not wasting breakfast time, not even for a second. We wasted no time baby, being productive and all stops. Um, oh, the last thing I want to say is, is do be careful. As you're looking for those role models, as you're looking for those people you want to spend time with, sometimes people present themselves as a very positive force or sometimes they present themselves as somebody who has got it all figured out or knows what's going on or whatever, right? And so on social media in these videos that they encourage you to watch, sometimes they're putting on the very big front if we're being flat out, right? Like it's just flat out front. And uh, so you gotta be careful. You gotta really do your due diligence on, on selecting the people that you look up to or that you aspire to and that you spend your time around, right? That's the most important thing. Even if you don't look up to them, if you're spending your time around them, even worse, you should look up to them, right? So. Um, like all of you inspire the fuck out of me, right? That's the whole reason I like deleted my whole other Instagram started new and I was like, I want to be close to these people. These people inspire me. Like, you know, they, they're on a mindset. They might not have done something or whatever, but they're on a mindset. You know, like that's all I care about. So, um, be careful on those people you select, you know, be careful. Don't, you know, some people will pretend to be making you better, but they're just making you fucking dumb. You know what I mean? Like Cardi B, for example, could probably teach a lot of people a lot about success. You know what I mean? Like, whether you agree with her type of success or whatever, but she, she definitely learned how to find it, right? And so she could probably drop a lot of knowledge in that, but when you consume her content, is that what you're getting? Is that what you're getting? Like, are you getting some type of representation of her success or a model for that? No, you're getting like... You know, and that's not life. Like, like this is not isn't gonna really give you what you're looking for. It's not gonna like, you know, be the, the qualitative exchange that I'm talking about, right? Look for people who are sharing knowledge, sharing wisdom, right? Really like showing. If you gotta, if you gotta listen to Cardi B, or wanna watch her, like watch the shit she does where she's like talking about her story and the story she's telling herself, right? I love you guys. Thank you so much. Thank you for listening to my story. I will continue to come on here every single day for the daily grind for the sole intention and purpose of planting little seeds into your subconscious mind that I hopefully intend will grow into like a magnificent, happy life for you, a positive, like successful mindset. And so trust me, this, this show is designed to brainwash you. Boom, boom, boom. No, it is. I swear to God it is. I swear to God everything about this show is designed to morph your brain and mold your brain into the happiest, most positive, most fucking effective version of yourself that you could possibly be, as I am trying to do with myself every single day. And so, come, come get you some of that. Come get you some, baby. Come get some of the success over here, baby. Man, I'm fired up for the day. What's good? What's fucking good? Bring it, bring it out on him. Take the shirt off on him. Ah! Oh, I'm just kidding, man. I'm having a great day. <laughs> People must really look at me funny sometimes, huh? All right. Grind gang, let's go Rams. Just cause I'm in LA, baby.